We welcome you inside the Ken Sparks Show. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman head football coach Ken Sparks as the Eagles come away with a victory on homecoming, 52-10 to 10 over North Greenville and a victory coach on your day, Ken Sparks Day for Jefferson City and Jefferson County. You think about that, you think about being a lifelong resident in Jefferson City and having so many people come back for homecoming. What is the the entirety of the events mean to you and for your life well of course <clears throat> of course i'm not a lifelong resident but i sure uh, have uh, jefferson jefferson county jefferson city has been very special in my family's life and so many people you know and that's what a place is all about it's about people and uh, so many people who've uh, contributed greatly to to uh, who I am, where I am, you know, it's all been about Jefferson County, and so it's uh, been a very, very special place. And and uh, and so many people here. Uh, it's been one of the. Uh, I think it was uh, besides maybe the first game of the year, uh, uh, a time where I felt a greater want to to visit with people that I hadn't seen in a long time. And and game day is the worst possible yeah. time. Uh, there's so many other things pulling, pulling at you that you're on a timeline that you don't have. Uh, we had uh, probably uh, 200 uh, recruits and parents upstairs uh, uh, during the uh, during the morning, and so it was just a really really busy time. And it was the latest time I've ever had getting out of here after a ball game because there was uh, some people that I wanted to get caught up with. They wanted to get caught up with me, and and uh, so. Pre-game, post-game, it seemed like it was about five games worth of pre-game, post-game. And, uh, and, and then for the kids to respond like they did, it was great uh, for the ball game. And it was a great day. It was a great day for me personally, and, and I think a great day for Carson Newman football. I feel a little blessed after a day like that? No question. And, uh, you know, it's uh, – and need to – of course, you know, as soon as the game's over, you start thinking about the next one. You know, that's the life of a coach. And uh, – uh, so, uh, but I, I actually uh, uh, had a uh, had a, a lot of rejoicing in my heart after this ball game. It was special. You pick up the victory, 52 <coughs> to 10 over North Greenville, and we we come back. We break down the first half and the first half highlights of the Carson Newman homecoming victory over the North Greenville Crusaders. That's after this. Carson Newman with the victory on homecoming over North Greenville, 52 to 10. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head coach Ken Sparks on the Ken Sparks Show. Coach, you have a 28 to nothing lead headed into the locker room against North Greenville. For the second straight game, your defense forces the opposition to go three and out on its first three possessions. You're revving up the motor. What was the key defensively to a hot start against North Greenville? Well, I think uh, probably getting a little bit more comfortable in uh, in what we're asking them to do, I think they're getting a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, anytime you get game experience and it makes, a, it makes a huge difference, especially when we were playing a whole bunch of people who did not have uh, uh, much game experience at Carson Newman. And so all that's helping and it's uh, making a difference. And, and, uh, and plus, I think uh, uh, they're buying in a lot more as far as uh, – uh, maybe what we're asking them to do really works, and uh, you know, and that helps. And and uh, our defensive coach has done a tremendous job, you know, and for <clears throat> us to experience what we've done the last two weeks compared to what happened the first three weeks. Uh, but uh, but we had to it, we had to get better. We couldn't get any worse. So it was <laughs> it was the coach is doing a great job, and we're very grateful for the job the defense is doing right now and getting better. Every week, your, your four, first quarters all <coughs> season though have been otherworldly. You're outscoring teams 85 to 14. You're outgaining them uh, roughly 900 to 300, and out possessing possessing them about 10 minutes to five minutes uh, across the entire season. How have you gotten off <coughs> to such quick starts in every game, and you do it again versus North Greenville? Well, I think uh, th there's no question. The last two weeks, we've had a whole lot more of a, a, an attack mentality. And, uh, you know, you, you're one or two things. You either 
get in attack or you're attacking. And, uh, and I think our guys uh, made up their mind they wanted to be a little bit more attack-minded, and they've done a great job with that. And coaches have done a great job getting them lined up to do that. And uh, so it's, it's been very good. The, the drive right at the end of the half offensively was very special. And uh, it was, uh, uh, I guess, 21 to nothing. And, and, to, and to take it 70 yards in the last minute and 30 seconds was, uh, was pretty special. And uh, Brandon... Uh, Brandon Haywood moved the offense very well, and, and the kids did a great job on that drive. We'll take a look at that drive and Carson Newman's other scoring possessions. As the Eagles lead it 28 to nothing, headed into the locker room, here are your first half highlights. Haywood under center of the split back beer. Hands off Baker right side, untouched into the end zone. Touchdown, Carson Newman. Brandon Baker with touchdown number five of the year. He spurts in from three yards out on the right side. Overlooks the line. The line comes set, takes the snap, hands off to Hibbett. The dive left, Hibbett churning his way to the end zone. Is he in? Yes! Touchdown, Carson Newman! Four and three, Haywood under center. The sneak, Haywood squirts in. Touchdown, Carson Newman! Brandon Haywood gets into the end zone from a yard out and scores his eighth rushing touchdown of the season. Now Isom comes in motion to the far side of the field. Haywood hands off left side. Hibbit. Hibbit around the line. He's in. Touchdown, Carson Newman. Andy Hibbit with touchdown number two of the day. And the Eagles with a 27-0 lead with 14.8 ticks left before they head to the locker room. Carson Newman with the lead, headed into the locker room, 28 to nothing over North Greenville on homecoming. Those are your first half highlights, and Coach, you, you finish up with one whale of a drive to really swing. I know you don't believe in momentum, but the pendulum was swinging Carson Newman's way when you go on a 79-yard drive in a minute 14. Brandon Haywood airs it out for 58 yards on that drive. H how crucial was that possession to really put North Greenville on its heels headed into the locker room? Well, I thought it was huge. Uh, it, it gave us an upper going in and, and them a downer, and that's always good. And uh, it meant that their coaches fussed a lot more and we bragged a lot more. And, that, you know, and that's always, uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, it's, it, it was very important. And, uh, and to see how our offense executed that was very special. Coach Turner... Uh, looked like an NFL two-minute offense coach in that one. He did a great job, and of course, the kids got to execute it, and, and uh, it was it was a good time. That wasn't the only quick <coughs> score of the first half, though. Your first two drives were both under two minutes. Uh, how how did that fast-paced offense play into your game plan in the first quarter? Well, it's been a plan. Uh, you know, all year we jump on the ball no huddle a lot of times because we have a. Uh, we feel like it, our offense is a high tempo, uh, you know, it's a fast north-south offense mm -hmm. and, you know, and it doesn't give defense a chance to adjust a whole lot or or, or have time to rest a whole lot. And, uh, and so uh, it's a matter of us reading ourselves into a good play when the ball is snapped. And so it works out pretty good to have a, a no huddle high tempo offense. Unusual though to see it because last week against Catawba, it, I don't want to say that it was slow, but you were going on six minute drives compared to these 90 right. second spurts down the field. So right. that that was a, I'm sure a change of pace for North Greenville to have to adjust to. Well, I think it was, and I think uh, it's something that <clears throat> we've always liked the idea that we can speed it up or slow it down, and. Uh, and there's times when you want to do both, and uh, so uh, uh, it it worked uh, it worked to our favor, I think, this week, no question. How did you slow down their two drives in the second quarter, where they finally worked the ball into Eagle territory, but your defense buckles down? They they were running the wildcat on you. Uh, what was the key defensively on those two drives when they finally started moving the football after going three and out on their first three possessions? Well, there was two things. Uh, getting lined up right is one of them, and, and, and making tackles was the other one. We went through a little stretch there where uh, we made some mental mistakes and we didn't tackle very well. And, uh, but, uh, and we didn't cover very well. Uh, a couple of long pass plays. And, uh, so, uh, and, and we were fortunate they dropped a couple, too. 
And so, you know, but we're grateful that uh, uh, we came out of it with a good victory and hope that we uh, can build on that and continue to get better and, and uh, you know, continue to uh, reap some harvest from hard labor, you know, and that's another thing that we've been talking about. You know, we got to uh, no, you're not entitled to anything. You got to go out and earn it, which means you got to go out and work hard. And so... Um, that's that's what we're looking forward to doing this week. You talk about working hard. You had eight running backs touch the football for at least 20 yards on the ground. You got some players some extra reps there late. How crucial is that as you build not only lives on the football field but outside as well? Well, it's uh, you know football. <clears throat> uh, when you practice all week, you like to play a little. You know, and uh, and to get everybody in a ball game uh, like we did there Saturday was was great. And uh, I think uh, uh, you know you uh, you want to reward kids for their effort and for their investment and and their commitment to being the kind of people that that uh, the Lord wants them to be. And you know, it's like faith. You know, if you could see faith. You know, then then uh, it would be a whole lot better. But the prob the problem is we got faith, faith before we see it most of the time. And it's kind of like the beer. You know, you got to believe it before you see it. And uh, so uh, I hope nobody in church heard me compare football to <laughs> to faith. But anyway, uh, it's uh, but there's a lot of similarities, like everything else in life. You know, uh, you you're a husband by faith. You're a you're a daddy by faith because you gotta believe if you do what's right, then God's gonna honor it and bless it. And what, what else do we want? Well, Carson Newman with the victory over North Greenville, 52 to 10, and we take a look at the second half highlights after this. Back on the Ken Sparks Show, Carson Newman victorious over North Greenville on homecoming, 52 to 10. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Coach Ken Sparks. Coach, you get into that second half, and it's another fast start for you. You have two one-play drives for scores. Brandon Haywood with a 50-plus yard run, and then DeAndre Thomas gets in and scores around the right side from nine yards out. How about your quarterback play in the second half? Well, I thought it's good, David Freeman uh, and. DeAndre Thomas and, and Brandon, all three, uh, really, uh, I thought, uh, overall, uh, did a good job. We missed about four reads on the option that I remember that, you know, and it don't take but one of those to mm -hmm. get you beat. And so we got to continue to improve and work on that. But uh, uh, I was excited all three of those kids uh, did a great job. And then big Toby Slagle and Goose uh, came in there to, to mop it up at the end, and I wish we'd had a little bit more time with them, but they did a great job. All five of them did a great job. You take your kickoff returns from Catawba. That was a bit of a problem point, but you hold North Greenville to a long return of 26 yards. Special teams seemed to improve quite a bit. They really did. We challenged them all week and told them that we cannot lose that part anymore. And, and uh, and it was overall bad last week, and uh, then I think uh, I think uh, you know they ex they stepped up and accepted the challenge. And you know, and people don't realize how critical uh, the kicking game is. And I don't know if you know it, I haven't told you, but we have a unit. It's called a Special Warfare oh, Assignment you. Group that uh, does all of our kicking except PAT field goal and block. They do all the other four phases: kickoff, kickoff return, punt, punt return. And that's a that's a been a fun. <laughs> development and uh, been fun to watch those guys uh, uh, come along. A little bit of swag. A little bit of swag. Special Warfare Assignment Group. Well, Carson Newman with the victory over North Greenville 52 to 10 on homecoming, and we take a look at the second half highlights. In the third quarter, Haywood under center in the split back beer, runs around the right side of the line. Haywood into space across the 40 and 30. Haywood dashing down the near sideline. Haywood will streak for six. Touchdown, Carson Newman. 
Brandon Haywood, sprung feet free by an Anthony Eubanks block, takes it in from 55 yards out. And the Eagles with a 34 to nothing lead. Four man front for the Eagles. Two step drop for Hughes, comes up throwing near side, intercepted by Tarvin Jones at the 15. Jones still on his feet at the 10, cutting it across the far side of the field. And Jones upended at the 10. In the middle of the field, Tarvin Jones with the pick for Carson Newman and a six yard return. And Douglas on the left, two wide up top and the low man to the near side. Thomas running right. Thomas bolting over the right side of the formation. The five, the four, the three, the two, the one. Touchdown, Carson Newman. DeAndre Thomas with the sprint around the right side of the line. Finds Pater for the Eagles. And Carson Newman has a 41 to nothing lead over North Greenville. Snap back to Hughes, waist tight. Hughes. Three-step drop. Now he comes up in the pocket and gets crushed in the backfield by Zach Fleming. Zach Fleming flapping his arms like an eagle <laughs> as he comes to the near sideline, and the celebration will draw a flag. It's a loss of three. He was flapping his arms like an eagle, and then he comes back to the nest or the sideline, and the mama eagle, Mike Clowney, said, cut that out, get the very back. Those are your second half highlights as Carson Newman comes out victorious on homecoming, 52 to 10. Up next, it's the Eagle Spotlight, and we put it on Brandon Haywood. That's after this. Back on the Ken Spark Show, and each week we highlight one Carson Newman football player. This week, Roger Hoover puts the Eagle Spotlight on starting quarterback Brandon Haywood. The Carson Newman football team has enjoyed solid leadership this season from senior quarterback Brandon Haywood. After starting the last six games a season ago, Haywood has started each game for the Eagles in 2012, guiding the Carson Newman offense. A fine performance against Catawba last season propelled Haywood to new heights, going 5 for 6 for 125 yards, and he also rushed for 99 yards and three touchdowns as he gained some experience. It did. I'm, I'm so much more comfortable as a player. Uh, I can see a lot of things that I couldn't see last year coming from third string to first string. It was just a lot of things I felt like I had to overcome. But coming into my senior year, it's a lot of things that I'm familiar with now. I want to be a film genius, so I try to stay in the uh, meeting room and look at as much film as I can because I'm, I'm not going to base my performance off uh, how good a, a player I am or how good my skill set is. I want to be smart enough to make the right calls to put my team in a good situation. Haywood says he was proud to be a part of the 300th victory for his head coach, Ken Sparks. He was like, if you guys go out there, I need you guys to score. And like I say all the time, when we do go out, out on that field to score, it's our, it's our points to put points on the board. I mean, it's, yeah, it's up to us to put points on the board. And that's what we're going to do. And I felt like if we continue to do that, then we could win the game. It was a scary feeling, but luckily we got out there with a win. Haywood has also displayed a keen knack for running Carson Newman's veer offense, making key decisions on every play. It took a while to, to understand the concept, but now that I do, I know it's a great uh, concept and a great game plan, and, it, and it's been working for many years for Coach Barks and Coach Turner. And, and it, as long as you believe in the system and believe that these guys know what they're talking about and, and based off blocks and based off the gaps that the running back's supposed to hit, I know that we can be successful. And at first I, I didn't understand the concept, but now I'm fully aware of how powerful this offense can really be. As his senior season continues, Haywood knows he doesn't have many games left in a Carson Newman uniform, and he wants to get the Eagles back to the postseason. When we come here, we come with that national championship mentality. That's why you come to play football here. And even though we've got two losses, we still feel like we can be national championship competitors. Um, I want every guy on the field, every guy that, that we take that field and leave that locker room with to have that same mentality and those same expectations. And to, to win these next five games, that can mean a lot to, to that, um, that plan that we have in going and succeeding in the playoffs. But we do have to come out, you know, Monday through Friday and try to win those days to ultimately win on Saturdays. For the Ken Sparks Show, I'm Roger Hoover. Well, thank you very much, Roger. And, Coach, you think about a kid like Brandon Haywood thrown into the starting role last season against Catawba, and here he is leading a two-minute offense out of the veer, 
to go ahead 28 to nothing at the half against North Greenville. What has he done to grow, not as a football, not just as a football player, but also as a person? Well, he's uh, he's one of those go-to guys. You know, you don't have, uh, you know, in your lifetime, uh, you know, you're fortunate if you get a handful of people that you know is the real deal, that you can probably say anything to them that you need to say to them, and it won't come back some other way, somewhere else, you know. and. Uh, so Brandon just uh, he's he's a special youngin and uh, high school coach was here at the ball game uh, Dan Duff coach Dan Duff and Dan's had a tremendous influence on Brandon and and helped him grow and giving him some coaching responsibilities in the summertime back home of course Brandon went to American Samoa mm -hmm. uh, this summer as a summer missionary and did football camps uh, with the Samoans and. Uh, uh, he just, it's just fun to watch him keep doing this. I can't wait to see what all the Lord's going to do with Brandon, Bay, Brandon Haywood before this thing's over with. You, you turn around, come off of a win on homecoming, you head to the road to UNC Pembroke, a team that was ranked 24th coming into this week, but fell to the University of Charleston, the Golden Eagles out of Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, what challenges do the Braves pose uh, for your Eagles? Well, they're a good football team. They're beating most everybody in our league. Uh, already have beaten most everybody in our league, and <clears throat> and they're a, a very explosive uh, offensive football team. They uh, they gamble a lot on defense and create a lot of problems with their with their quickness and speed, and uh, so you know we'll have to execute. We haven't executed very well against them the last two years, uh, but uh, uh, they're a good football team, and uh, you don't. Getting the top 20 rankings just uh, by showing up, you have to earn it, and they've done they, they've done a good job with it. Coach Sparks, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining. Me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Carson Newman, head football coach Ken Sparks. I'm Adam Cavalier, and this has been the Ken Sparks Show.